Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today I'm going to smoke a brisket on my new pit barrel cooker that the folks at Pit Barrel Cooker sent to me. Noah and Amber are super nice folks there. Also, uh, Noah is a veteran of the Navy and as many of you already know that I'm a veteran of the Navy. So uh, it's veteran owned company, super great folks to deal with. If you have not seen these or uh, or want to buy you one, please go buy there and see pitbarrelcookers.com. Awesome, awesome products. So I'm going to bring you in closer, guys, and we're going to get started on preparing this brisket. All right, guys, here's our full pack of brisket. And for the folks that have never prepared a brisket before and you're on here looking to learn, I have already removed basically the majority of any fat that's on top of the brisket. On the bottom side of the brisket, you're only looking at leaving about a quarter of an inch all the way across the bottom. And we're going to be smoking this. We'll put, we'll be hanging this in the uh, pit barrel cooker. So, and right in here, uh, I kind of separated this because there was a huge chunk of fat in here that just will not render down. This is also good because I can actually just take off this top flat here and remove the, the point and be able to make some um, burnt ends that my family thoroughly enjoys so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get this prepared first of all i'm going to put some olive oil on this just rub it all over and we're going to be making sure that we cover this brisket all the way around all the sides front and back or top and bottom whatever you want to call it and we're going to be using two layers today. I was contacted by Michael Petrie with Heaven Made Products, and he told me to try something. So what we're going to do today is we're going to try his Texas beef brisket rub, and also we're going to be trying GQ the rub. So we're going to put a layer of both of these on there. He said it was phenomenal, so I'm looking forward to trying these. Go ahead and put a coating. I'm going to start off with the rub first. Get us a nice coating. And again, with a brisket, you can go pretty liberal because it's so thick of a piece of the meat. And I'm not going to do any type of injections today. I usually do, but I wanted to try it without the injection today. Okay, that's our first layer. And now Heaven Made Products is gonna be our next layer. And some folks, they'll use a binder or they won't use a binder. Some folks use mustard, some people use uh, Worcestershire sauce. Um, and I'm gonna try
bowl inside the cooker. And you may have already noticed that I filled the charcoal basket up and then I took some out. So that's recommended by Pit Barrel is to fill it up, level all across the top and take about, I don't know, I took about 40. Okay, and we're gonna add a couple or about three pieces of pecan. And now, add our rebarb in. And we're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and get this brisket on. It's super nice color. Let's turn it. Let's turn it this way. And need to get my probes on there. Going with grill eye. Put one inside thickest part here. And then I just want to kind of drape one over a rebarb here just to kind of get the temp of the cooker. So we can kind of get that to stay. And let's put the top on. And we're going to let this sit for about three hours. We're going to come back and check it. And we're looking for about around 160, 165 internal. And then we'll look at maybe wrapping it. So we'll see you back, guys. All righty. We're going to check this out now. We've been going about three hours. So let's pull this off. Kind of see where we're at. Got some nice color. I can see that. And we're reading 167. Uh, so we've gone just a little bit over, but let's just see what we got for this Maverick Instant Read thermometer. That says 159 there. Yeah, we need to go ahead and pull this off. It's 164. So let's go ahead and pull this off, guys, and we're going to wrap this. Today we're going to be wrapping it in some uh, butcher paper instead of full. So let's do that right quick. All right, here's the brisket. It's got some nice color on it. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this with some butcher paper. It's got juice leaking out. So let's get this on to the grill right quick, guys. All righty. So we already got our grill grate in there. Let's go ahead and put this down. Be careful, it's very hot. Get some butcher paper. This is the first time using butcher paper. Uh, I got some from our local butcher and and this, this uh, brisket came from the country butcher right here in, uh, well, in LaGrange, North Carolina. Let me grab my glove here because that is hot. Put these back in here again. This is crucial. This helps regulate the airflow. We'll put this back on, guys. Well, let's put our uh, put our probe on there. These are hot too. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And we're looking again around 205. All right, guys, here is the brisket. Well, we took it off, basically, and wrapped it in a towel and put it in a cooler. It's been in there for about three hours. And let me go ahead and separate um, the point. 
We're going to make some burn ends from that. And the grain is running this way. So we're going to try to cut this at an angle here. There you go. See if we can get that in the shot here. Tender, tender, tender. All right, guys, we're going to give this a little taste test. It's got a little bit of a bend to it. Not quite as tender as I want it to be, but um, let's try this, the flavor. The flavor is absolutely wonderful. Guys, the combination of the Texas brisket rub from Heaven Made Products and the rub by GQ Barbecue together, guys, I recommend this highly. The flavors just explode in your mouth. There's so much flavor. I didn't even I didn't do any kind of injection. Maybe if I did some injection, it might would have gave it a little bit more moisture. But overall, it tastes great. I'm going to take the point and if you've seen another video of mine, what you can do is you'll take the point, you'll cube it up. I'm going to actually put it in like an aluminum pan and I'm going to pour some of some barbecue sauce on it and a little bit more rub. I'm going to put it back on the barbecue pit on the pit barrel and let it cook for about 30 minutes and it'll have some of the best tasting flavored um, burnt ends you've ever had. So guys, hopefully uh, you've learned something from this. This was actually my first cook on the pit barrel um, and I think it turned out pretty good. Like I said, it was not quite as tender as I wanted it. Uh, I just needed to adjust a few things, but overall, hey, for home, it is a great flavor, guys. I highly recommend you checking out all these products that I have mentioned. Be sure to go check out Pit Barrel awesome stuff guys thank you so much and god bless